you know, I think we liked the way we started the game tonight and, uh, you know, you, you, you can't, you can't reinvent the wheel now. You, you can't start over and try to do something completely different. Uh, I think there's some things in our game that we really like, some things we can clean up certainly. And um, hopefully we get a bounce to go our way. You know, hopefully one goes off one of their sticks and ricochets in and into the net and, you know, we'll take, we'll take a lead and um, see how it looks from there. But, uh, you know, outside of that, you, you, you know, you, you can't, you can't doubt the process. Go back to Ken Weed for a follow-up. Go ahead, Weaver. Like you make that hesitation and then rattle the shot off the bar. I mean, just what's going through your mind when, when you see you beat the goalie, but it hits the bar and goes out of play there? You know, I, it was it was pretty strange. I, I was dead certain that it, that it went in. I thought it hit the back bar or, uh, or the goalie ca- or the camera in the net. Um, felt like I scored, you know, it's a 1-1 hockey game and uh, kind of changes the complexions of things. And... Um, you know, it's part of being being good. Sometimes you got to get lucky too. So he's uh, he's obviously standing tall in the net right now, and and uh, things are going his way. We'll go next to Paul Friesen from the Winnipeg Sun. Go ahead, Paul. Blake, I think the question maybe on the lips of every or most Jets fans is, what has happened to the team that played Edmonton in the first round? It just looks a lot different. Yeah, well, it feels a lot different too, Paul, because. Um, you know, we had a lot, a lot of things go our way in the first round. And um, I think we played a team with high expectations and we were able to use the pressure against them. Um, you know, I, I think we were able to use some of that pressure and kind of just, you know, force it upon them. And uh, from there, you know, like I said, we, we had some things go our way and uh, we were able to play the, the series on our terms. And so far this series, uh, you know, we take 10 days off game one we don't like. Uh, you know, game two is a little bit better, but still not quite ourselves. And I think I think we started the game right tonight. And um, it just when you when you play against a team with a goalie the way he's playing, and it, you know, once they get a, get a lead, it completely changes the way they play the game. Um, you know, it uh, it makes it tough, and, and and certainly we're pressing right now too. We'll go next to Jeff Hamilton from the Winnipeg Free Press. Go ahead, Jeff. Thanks, Gregor. Hi, Blake. Um, Montreal hasn't trailed in a game for, for six straight, obviously, through the first three here. You, you mentioned kind of on, on your terms, how challenging is it to play in games where not that you're constantly chasing, but you're not getting that early edge? Yeah, well, I mean, you are chasing the game because, uh, you know, now some of the things that we're, we're doing and having success, success with, you know, uh, you know, we get a little bit too aggressive and it's a two on one the other way or, you know, uh, you know, you can control big, big chunks of the game. Like I think we did in the second period there for a little while. And instead of having it be a tie hockey game or, you know, pulling, pull, pulling ahead or what, what have you, uh, you know, they come down the ice and score a goal. And it's like, I mean, just the, it, it's, it's hard to, to kind of keep building yourself up and building yourself up when, you know, the things you're doing that are giving you success, you're not getting rewarded for. And then, um, you know, it seems like any little mistakes you're, you're paying for. We'll go back to Jeff Hamilton for a follow-up. Go ahead, Jeff. It's been a unique year, Blake, obviously, but it's also been a unique playoffs with these back-to-back games. Um, what do you make of kind of going right back at it less than 24 hours later? I mean, I think it's great for us right now, um, to be honest with you. I think uh, having to sit in the hotel room all day tomorrow and stew on that one, you know, I think you'd have a lot of guys burning inside. So, uh it's nice to, to get right back at it tomorrow and, and hopefully we get a good feeling in our room and kind of start to rebuild ourselves. And I mean, we got to win a hockey game, right? No different than it was today. We, we, we got to win one game and then see what happens. Just a couple more for Blake. We'll go next to Carter Brooks from Game On. Go ahead, Carter. Hi, Blake. You kind of just touched on it with uh, the quick turnaround, but how does the mentality change now that it's a 3 nothing? series lead from Montreal rather than the 2-1 heading into this important game four? I don't think it's, I mean, because it hasn't been two to one yet. So we never really thought that way. It was two nothing. So I don't think our mentality changes at all from two nothing to three nothing. Um, obviously the, um, you know, you lose one more game. We, we all know the consequences of, of that, but um, I think the the thought process is very much the same, you know, just, we got to stay together. I think that's the strength of our team this year. And certainly when you, know, you lose Mark, um, 
you know, we got to rely on the depth of our team. That's been, that's been the strength of our team all year, four lines that can be effective and, and uh, you know, produce and, and uh, get the job done. Final question to Scott Billick from the Sun. Go ahead, Scott. Thanks, Gregory. Hey, Blake. Um, you were on the, the Bruins team that, that was up 3 nothing and, and, and lost that series. What do you remember about, you know, what a win for the other team can do at 3 nothing? Um, to make it three one and how that momentum can kind of kind of roll into perhaps coming back in this one. As if my night can't get any worse. You gotta bring that one up. Um, no, I mean these are all learning experiences. Um, unfortunately I've had to learn some tough lessons in the playoffs. Um, that being a a really tough one to learn. Um just, I mean, it's no different than what Montreal is doing right now. I mean, they were dead in the water, down three to one to Toronto. You know, everyone was packing their bags, getting ready to go to Toronto after Game Five, and um, they they got they got one out in overtime and momentum swings. So, you know, that 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 that's all it is. It's the, the playoffs are all momentum, and right now they're an extremely confident team in what they're doing, and they're getting results from that. And you know, we're on the other side of the pendulum right now. We're we don't have a ton of confidence and, um, you know, we're kind of scratching and clawing to find it. So that, you know, game four can, can flip everything on its head and, um, you know, then you just build tension and uh, that, that's what we got to do. We just got to find a way to try to win a hockey game and then we can breathe, excuse me, then we can breathe a little bit. They can kind of have to think about it for a couple of days and then it slowly builds. And that's, that's, that's what, that's what happens. Thanks very much, Blake.